Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I am here today to talk about the Cashmere Club. I have no affiliation with the Cashmere Club. I also just realized I'm not wearing jewelry. Forgot to put that on before I started filming. <laughs> Disregard. Um, no affiliation whatsoever with the Cashmere Club. I don't get any commissions. Nothing. I just, it's something I jumped on the bandwagon immediately when it was released in February and I've been so pleased with it so far. So I just want to share the love and um, just share my experience with it so far. Okay, so before we get into that though, I just wanted to just have a little chat. So I'm filming this on Monday. You guys are seeing this on Tuesday. Um, a few things. So I went to a, um, for those of you following along with my um, knitting, spinning <laughs> um, side of my creative life, um, I bought a spinning wheel, a used spinning wheel, um, gosh, probably right before Christmas, I think now. Um, it is a Kiwi, the original Kiwi 1, Ashford Kiwi 1, and um, used it for quite a bit. And then my friend Jenny, who we took the spinning class together back uh, last fall, late summer, early fall, um, she asked if she could use it. She was just having some, she, she and I are very similar and that we deal with our mental health, like make our mental health better by doing creative pursuits. <laughs> So she was having some seasonal, you know, the disorder, the sad disorder, seasonal, what's it called? Affliction disorder, whatever. Affection disorder. Anyway, um, she was having some of that. So I let her borrow the wheel and she has been spinning like crazy. I'm very encouraged because she has gotten so much better in the two months that she's had that wheel. Like, it's amazing. So I'm very much looking forward to getting it back um, because, um, I mean, I, I haven't had time to spend at the moment anyway, but um, she's bought a, herself a used one. I think hers is an Ashford Kiwi 2. She doesn't have it yet. Her um, husband and daughter are going to pick it up, I think, next week. So um, anyway, very excited to get that back. But we went to a Fiber Fest in Northeast Indiana this weekend and oh my gosh learned so much from all the vendors that were there. It was a heavy um, Spinning fiber fest I would say and, and weaving there was uh, a lot more weaving there than I'd seen at other fiber fests that we had been to We are totally hooked like line hook line sinker all of it um, In fact, we were joking like what's the next progression? So like we went from knitting now we're really into spinning still knitting um, obviously and like roving um, and all that sort of thing. So it was the next, for those of you that have fallen down this rabbit hole, what's the next obsessive <laughs> progression of this, of this gateway drug? <laughs> is it dying? Because I can see we talked to a lot of people about dying and all of that, like different ways of like dying, the roving and the yarn and all of that stuff. Um, does weaving come next? Am I going to have to build on to my house for to house all of these like a loom someday? <laughs> like what is the progression? Because we're falling fast. Um, anyway, I got some gorgeous, I'm looking them over here, some gorgeous rovings and a couple of really beautiful um, yarns as well. I bought some um, hand dyed yarn and um, I don't think I bought any hand spun yarn this time, but um, anyway, really, really fun and exciting. Also, I'm wearing a shirt you guys haven't seen. This is the, um, I'll link it down below per normal, but this is the um, Chalk and Notch Wren top. So it's the Wren top and dress. Um, and I was, I honestly, I, I've had it for a little bit in my stash and just hadn't made it. And um, this is such a good statement sleeve. It has like a, it's similar to the longer Cielo sleeve, like a lantern sleeve um, in the Closet Core Patterns Cielo. Um, but it's just a really, I find it very flattering. So it's a shirt and then it's got a, a dress version, which is basically just the shirt and they've attached kind of a tear at the bottom to make a drop waist dress. Also very cute, but I love the neckline on it. It's got the buttons and she's got the different um, cup fronts. So she has an AB front and a CD front. So um, I made the CD front and it fits really well. And I used this, um, this was my birthday shirt. So um, if you don't know, my birthday is the day after Valentine's Day. And so my whole life I have grown up with birthday parties that have been Valentine's Day themed. Uh, my sister, coincidentally, her birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. So growing up, both of us, you know, I would always have like a Valentine's Day themed birthday party and she would always have a St. Patrick's Day themed birthday party. It was just kind of the way it was. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of my thing. And I grabbed this rayon on um, Shally from uh, Melanated Fabrics. Uh, Brittany had teased some of this. It wasn't too much ahead of uh, Valentine's Day to be honest and I snatched it up right away 
it came on, and I'm trying to remember what day, I think Valentine's Day was on a Monday, and I think I got this on Saturday, the fabric on Saturday, washed it really quick, made up this top, I knew I wanted to make this one with it, and um, wore it on Valentine's Day, obviously, but also took it on my vacation. So it all happened right before we left for vacation, so you guys haven't seen this yet, but oh my gosh, love this pattern. I traced it off in my, I have the printed pattern, and I traced it off in my daughter's size as well, because um, I think she'd really get a kick out of these sleeves as well, so anyway, great pattern. <laughs> Okay, but we're here today, and it's five minutes in, to talk about the Cashmere at Club. So, Jenny Rushmore, who runs Cashmere at Patterns, uh, launched, or Cashmere at just launched this club, um, sewing club, pattern club, in February. So it launched with the Kimball Bomber jacket, and that's the pattern I'm going to show you first that I've made, and then um, this month it's the Carlisle t-shirt, and we'll talk about each of those. So I joined right away um, in February, and she was running a deal where you could get like a full year at a discount. And I think like there's three tiers, I believe. And I think the very top tier was like way discounted. That dis that um, original launch is over. That ended at the end of February. But there's three tiers and um, I got good information in my last video on my spring um, plans because uh, I guess I'm all, I just grabbed the lowest tier just because I think, I think that's all I probably need. Although looking like at the other tiers. I'm gonna link the club down below so you can go and read through the benefits of each, each tier, but there's master classes that she's got for this top tier, and I would say that she has got some of the best fitting advice for someone that has curves of, of anyone I've seen. I mean, like, yeah, her ahead of the curve book. I went ahead and bought it, even though I'm at the, sometimes I'm in her very bottom range because the book came with the patterns in sizes 12 through 32. Um, I am really fit well. A size 10 fits me really well in the shoulders, and sometimes I'll grade out to like a 12 at the waist. But, um, well, I usually, I have to grade out to a 12 at the waist. She dressed for a curvier figure than what I am. I'm much straighter through my waist and hips than what she grades for. But I'm so glad I grabbed the book because her fitting advice in there is just, it's really good. <laughs> She's really good at, at, not only fitting a curvier body, but also um, explaining it and showing like it's not hard. Like there's easy ways on how to fix things. So yeah, if you struggle with that, I would highly suggest maybe the, even the top tier. But apparently, bottom tier, you only get the month that you've paid for. So I joined in February, so um, the pattern for that month. So I got February's pattern and I get March's pattern. And as long as I'm paying for that bottom tier, I'll get that month's pattern. Um, and I download it and then it goes into my account. So if I were to stop, I'm sure, you know, tomorrow, I would always have access to the first two months patterns, but you have access to past months patterns. So if you were to join in March at the middle or the top tier, I believe, definitely the top tier, I think the middle tier as well, um, you would have access to February's pattern and March's pattern. So does that make sense? Um, and someone had said that they had done, um, they had set in on the live that she had done and um, I don't think my tier is access to that. Oh, hello, Gidget. <laughs> I don't think my tier access is to that, but that she had said that these patterns will never become available to the public at large. So if you want these patterns, you do have to join the club. So anyway, this is just my experience with them. Again, I joined the bottom tier, which um, gives me access to their clubhouse, which is just kind of like a um, message board and you can chat about things and that sort of th stuff and access, I mean, it gives me the pattern for the month. Um, she also usually will have, um, probably always some deals that you could coupon codes that you can use. And I'll talk about what they were for these two months just to kind of give you an idea. But yeah, I'm doing the $9 a month tier, which is the bottom tier. Um, but yeah, I would look, totally look into the other two if, you know, that stuff, you know, the fitting and the master classes and stuff is something that you're interested in because I think it's called the plus and the access plus or the um, top and the middle one. Anyway. Okay. So let's talk about them. So I have March's pattern up here. I've actually made two of March's pattern, one for me and one for my daughter. Um, but let's talk about January's pattern really quick. Okay. This is the Kimball bomber jacket. I'll put this up on the mannequin when I'm talking about the Carlisle, but this is the Kimball bomber jacket. And um, so in February, um, I this was the pattern, and it also included a 20% off fabric at 
Core Fabrics, which is Closet Core Patterns' uh, sister brand. And I had been eyeing this cotton jacquard, and so she had pulled out a whole bunch of fabrics that would work for this project um, and made like a separate place on the website. So you could easily go and just kind of pick what you want, and you would know that it would work. But I had been eyeing this cotton jacquard since Closet Core put it out, and I'm so glad. They don't have this colorway anymore, but last I checked, they still had the white colorway, which does still have the 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 bright fabrics. So it is a woven cotton jacquard. It frayed like crazy, but the, and the colors, I mean, this hot pink is not in my color story, but it's a navy background and this kind of ochre yellow and the um, aqua is, and I'm totally just going to go with it because I just think it's so cool. So this is an unlined jacket. It does have quilted sleeves and she gives you um, instructions, really great instructions on how to do that. And the sleeves are lined. So they are quilted with the lining fabric and um, batting. I did not put batting in with mine. I just did um, the outside fabric and the lining fabric. I just didn't want my art, my sleeves to be too bulky because I'm, I'm top heavy, just my body um, style. And then I used, um, so the 20% off at Core Pattern or Core Fabrics also got 20% off everything. So I grabbed some of her Navy Ponte for a half of a yard for my cuffs and my, um, uh, collar band and then the bottom band here as well and it worked so well. So again this is an unlined jacket. It's got this beautiful center um, zips um, obviously to take it off. <laughs> we'll talk about the pockets here in a second. So you can see this is like this fabric was pricey. I think it was $30 because core patterns even though they're in um, Canada they'll put their prices in um, USD and also sell by the yard. So that's something you want to be aware of. A lot of Canadian um, fabric companies sell by the meter. So I um, so this fabric was pricey. I think it was like $30 a yard but I had 20% off and I only needed I think I grabbed two yards of this because the patterns that's what the pattern said I needed but I Maybe I grabbed two and a half. I think I grabbed two and a half. That's what the pattern said it needed. Um, but I have plenty to do like a really cool bag maybe. Um, or maybe a bag and a clutch. Or maybe I could color block something. I have enough. I have a sizable enough scrap to do something really cool with it. So I, I did not need the full two and a half. But again, I love this fabric. I'm glad I grabbed what I did. So I just quilted, um, this is an acetate lining that I had in my stash from Minerva, um, and I used this on a different coat project. Which one did I line with this color? I think I lined, oh, my um, purple plaid coat that I made during coat month in um, last year. Uh, this was the lining for that, and I had just enough for the sleeves, so it worked really, really well. <laughs> So that makes it really easy to slip on and off. Obviously, the body of the jacket is um, not lined, which is fine. Um, and I just surged my edges. I could have done a pretty binding and all of that, but to be honest, I think the inside of this fabric is so cool. I wanted to keep it minimal with my seam finish. Um, so I just surged and pressed things open. Uh, also, this fabric frayed like crazy, so it had to be surged like instantaneously. Um, but it, it, I mean, it worked really well, but yeah, I just kind of wanted the, you know, when it's hanging over the back of a chair or whatever, I really wanted that, the inside to shine and what, you know, I could have like, I guess, um, bound them in like Navy or something, but it obviously was much quicker just to surge and it's going to do the job. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Um, it's got a beautiful finish on the zipper with like these little facings and then it's got these pockets. I used, these are scraps from my Betty Boop dress and she has you French seam the pockets um, and talks you through exactly how to do that. It's very easy instructions. So you've got a very clean finish for those pockets on the inside. Um, actually, I still need to tack these down. I have not tacked my facing to my pockets yet. <laughs> how long is that going to take me? less than two minutes probably yes um so there's a pin right there but um the pockets are these beautiful zippered hopefully you can see uh, the pocket let me scoot up there goes my hair so can you kind of see that so it's a, a welt a zippered welt pocket um and i did my top stitching in yellow thread i used yellow thread on this jacket just for something fun and then there's the inside of my pocket which again was the scraps of silk that I used for that Betty Boop dress uh, and then I quilted maybe you can see that can you see my stitching um I quilted with yellow thread as well just to kind of make it stand out I mean I didn't want anything too like in your face because obviously the fabric speaks for itself but um I wanted I mean I want I was gonna 
it took forever to quilt these stupid sleeves, so I, <laughs> I wanted it to show up, so I did it in the yellow, and I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Put one of my little tags in there, but yeah, her instructions were so easy. Um, I love the, I love this jacket. In fact, sorry, drop my hanger. In fact, I um, wore this to one of our um, knitting nights right after I made it, and all of my friends um, agreed that this looked very anthropology, so I'm going with that. But I just want to talk for a second about the pattern matching because I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> Look at the pattern matching up the front of that jacket. I got my llamas in the right places. Um, the pattern was somewhat mirrored, but obviously my llamas are both going the same way here. So, um, you know, no, it wasn't me. It is mirrored. Oh, I could have gotten my llamas going the opposite way. Oh, well, I still, <laughs> oh, it's not as good as I thought. Um, but I still love the way, I, I mean, the match up here with this little motif in the center just makes me so happy. Um, I just laid things out and was very, very careful in matching up all the little motifs. So I would cut out one piece and then flip it so that I would make an identical, everything got cut out single fold. Um, or single layer, so then I would mirror it when I flipped it um, to make sure everything was identical, you know, both fronts were identical. I think that's probably why I didn't get mirrored. But if you look at the back, the back's all one piece, so that makes it really easy. But my llamas are mirrored. They are going sep oh no, they're not. Oh no, we're good. My llamas aren't mirrored. Now the little llamas, or whatever these are down here, ostriches down here, are mirrored. But no, I'm good. I did it right. <laughs> But I had so much fun pattern placing all of this and getting my llamas where I wanted them to. Um, I was a little less, I mean, my sleeves match, they're the same, but I was a little less precious on how those match to the body. Uh, but then, yeah, on my side seam, this I am pleased with. On my side seam, you even have, can you see? Maybe you can't. You can see my little, whatever this is, an emu little ostrich. Um, how it goes across the seam and there's its little tail. It's not perfect perfect because you've got darts up here that will skew that, but I'm pretty pretty pleased with how that side seam turned out. <laughs> will anyone but seamstresses notice? Probably not, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how my my um pattern matching worked up, but I love this jacket. Cannot wait to wear it. I need to warm up a little bit more. We've had a few warm days that I've been able to put it on just a little bit more, and I think that's going to happen later this week, so this is definitely going to get pulled out and worn. Just love this so much. So if you have not become a, a um, member of the Cashmere Art Club yet, I would suggest doing a higher tier just so you could get this pattern. It's a lovely pattern. Um, now the deals are no longer good, so like the 20% off core fabrics is no longer good. Um, but you can still get the pattern. Anyway, a lovely little bomber jacket. I made the size 10. I just made a straight size 10 in this one. I didn't worry about grading out to the waist because it's a very roomy jacket. So I made the size 10 with the GH cup and I shortened the sleeves by an inch. And I shortened the body by an inch. I was trying to remember. Um, I usually have to do that with cashmere patterns. I'm just shorter on the top. Although one, now that I've made it, I probably could have gotten away without shortening either really just because you can have, get away with a blue sawn sleeve because the cuff cinches it in um i mean it's fine but i probably could have gotten away without shortening either so that is my uh jacket okay i'll put this on the mannequin and then we will well hold on we're going to talk about the carlisle real quick that's on here and then we will switch and um, i'll go more in depth okay so Kimball was February. March is the Carlisle t-shirt, which is this beautiful, um, if you're having a hard time seeing that, I'll show you, I've made two of these. Beautiful um, square neckline, and it comes with a cropped version or like a high hip version. I made the cropped version for my daughter, high hip for myself, um, but it's got this beautiful puffed dramatic sleeve or a straight sleeve. I don't do puff sleeves, I just get too top heavy too quickly. My daughter loves them. So um, obviously made this for her and then made um, the other one for myself. 
So what's wonderful about this is that you can mix and match the necklines and the sleeves with the Concord t-shirt, which you all know is my favorite t-shirt pattern. Um, for her, I made the size two with the EF cup. And that's what I've made her in her Concord as well. Um, we do take in the waist a little bit because she really likes this to hug her body just a little bit tighter. Um, she just finds it, she likes it better, more flattering on her bust line. And um, yeah, she's, it's still, it's not skin tight, but yeah, she likes this tucked it, taken in. And I think I took it in probably like three quarters of an inch on each side there at the waist just to um, balance it out the way she wanted. That's just her preference. Um, I shortened her sleeves by an inch. She's only 5'2", um, and that worked really, really well. I left the bodice alone. A lot of times I'd link the bodices for her, but I don't have to do that on the Concord. On the Concord, and I make her the crop version on that or this one. So um, keep that in mind because she does have a long torso. And this does sit above her high-waisted pants. Like, you can see a little bit of skin. Uh, but I did hers in the Cotton Lycra from... Um, uh, Minerva that I love. So when they did their big sale at the end, they had a flash sale like January 29th or something. It was a Saturday. So if you were a craft club member, you got 20% off everything as opposed to 10% off. They do those every now and again. I, I'm a craft club member. I pay for that. It just really, <laughs> you get 10% off every time you order. And then when they have sales and it's additional 10% off. So I, yeah, I'm, I think my yearly subscription is getting, or my yearly club membership is getting ready to run out at the end of this month. So, and I will re-up it. But you know how I love this cotton spandex jersey. And I bought, um, when I was buying her, those Lady McElroy um, with the snakes cotton lawns, I just went ahead and grabbed a couple of her colors in um, the jersey. So I grabbed, this is her yellow. I am finding it interesting with all the color gurus, everyone's got a yellow on their card. It's just a very different yellow. So this ice yellow is her yellow that she can wear, like a very icy, cool, light pale yellow. My yellow is like that ochre, gold, warm, almost brown, you know, a, a very warm yellow with orange in it. It's just, I find it very interesting because a lot of people are like, oh, I can never wear yellow, but there's a yellow on everyone's card. It's just a different, very different shade. So anyway, <laughs> I bought this and I think I got pink and then I bought her some of uh, one of her greens, like her sagey muted kind of a cooler green um, matches her eye really well. And I think I got that though in the luxury viscose that I love. So um, anyway, great top. So this month's deals were, um, they were doing 30% off the Concord, but only if you were a club member. So if you didn't already own it, you could buy it and then mix and match all the necklines and the sleeves and stuff with those. Um, and the different bodies, shapes and stuff with the Concord has a few different lengths and that kind of thing. Uh, and also they were offering, they had a, a discount off of um, Jersey Knits, or still do, it's still March, Jersey Knits off of Guthr at Guthrie and Ghani if you are in um, Europe and also at Stone Mountain and Daughter if you are in North America. So um, I thought that was really nice as well to have um, a couple of different options with the um, coupon codes for fabric. So anyway, that was really nice. Again, I'm bottom tier. All right, I'm gonna put the Kimball on here and I will just talk you through my version on the hanger. Two secs. You know, one of the things about the Kimball, and I'm so pleased with my pattern matching in the front, is that I will probably never wear this jacket zipped up. That's just not how I wear my jackets, which is a little unfortunate. <laughs> I may have to change that. Just so, and again, only a handful of people in the world will appreciate the pattern matching there. Okay, so for my version, I did um, the square neckline, obviously, and I just did the straight sleeve on mine, and I did the um, mid-hip version, um, because that's how I'm going to wear mine. <laughs> uh, and for mine, I made mine out of a cotton modal um, jersey from Stylemaker Fabrics. So this is one that I bought um, right after Christmas when she was doing, I don't know, it was like an additional 15% off the... Um, clearance section of her website. So it's like the selvage yards and the remnants and stuff. And I think this was a remnant. Although she carries the cotton modal. If, if she still has this in this color available, I will link it down below. Um, but I've used her cotton modal many times. It's a lovely um, in between for a cotton spandex and like a viscose or rayon spandex because modal is similar to like a rayon or a viscose but it's blended with the cotton so it's not as drapey and doesn't get as heavy and like droopy as a regular viscose or um, uh, rayon spandex would get uh, jersey but it's 
it's still soft and does have some drape. It's kind of the best of both worlds. I really like the stuff. But yeah, I got this color, and I think this was called Poppy. Um, but if the color's still available, I'll link it down below um, from Style Makers. But I, I did get this off that Selvage um, yard, so it may have just been a remnant of a bolt. I just love this neckline so much. Um, I shortened the body of this by an inch, left the sleeves alone because they're three-quarter length, and that's, you know, kind of fine. So I had made the Vanessa Pousset Wanted Tee back during T-shirt week, which may have been in 2020, to be honest, like March of 2020. Loved that neckline. It's just a really flattering, gorgeous neckline, but it comes in a very small size range, and even then, it is a very fitted T-shirt. <laughs> in fact, I've not worn mine since I've put on some poundage. Um, it would probably be too tight on me now. Um, and I was making like the second to largest size that she... Um, that she had, but again, the neckline was so, so good. And I know a couple people bought that pattern just for the neckline, and then they put it on their own, you know, t-shirt pattern they liked. So this just combines all of that into one. This neckline is constructed almost identically to how you, the Vanessa Pousset one, uh, the one to T is constructed. Um, it's a little bit wider. It doesn't go in quite as much, angle in as much as the Vanessa Pousset one, but I still think that it is just a beautiful, beautiful neckline and so different. Um, yeah, so I made the size 10 and graded to the 12 at the waist uh, and then back down to the 10 at the hip uh, for this one and did the GH cup, which is exactly what I sew when I do the um, Concord as well. And I'm excited to play around with some options. Um, I think for my spring capsule, I'm going to do this um, same shirt, um, but with the shorter sleeves from the Concord uh, just to make it a little bit more, you know, going into summer. It's just a lovely, lovely pattern. I highly recommend. <laughs> I mean, okay, so the bottom tier, if you're just interested in the patterns, again, if you do the bottom tier, you can't get the Kimball jacket, but, um, you know, just going forward, I mean, $9 a month, but it's $9 for a pattern. And to be honest, now that Cashmerette is releasing all of her sizes, um, so these all come in her size zero up to 32, uh, now that I can get these in... Um, a size that best fits me. I grab them anytime she releases a size zero uh, to 16 pattern. I grab it I like immediately because I just love the way that they fit. So I would probably be, I mean, if she were just selling these not in a club, I would probably be grabbing them up anyway. And $9 is a really good deal for the PDF patterns. And I think that um, what she had said is that she'll have new patterns some month. Other months, it'll just be um, like an expansion kind of pattern for um, for other patterns that are already out there. And I would assume she would also be giving a discount on the original pattern in those situations. Um, again, I already own all the <laughs> Sarah the 16 patterns, but that also makes me excited because surely she wouldn't do an expansion um, pattern off of a pattern that doesn't come in the full size range. So that makes me even more excited that more things are coming from Cashmere. I just really, yeah. She's one of my top three favorite pattern companies, to be honest. I, I would definitely, yeah, I'd say top three, definitely in the top five, but yeah, I'd say top three. So, um, yeah, I just kind of love everything she does and she just drafts really well for, um, those of us that have boobs because <laughs> even my daughter who is a size two. So my, I don't know if I should be saying this on, I mean, she's probably fine with it. My daughter's measurements are 31 inch upper bust, 30 four and a half inch full bust, 25 inch waist, 35 inch hip. And uh, she wears the size two um, EF cup. So just to give you a little reference there. And then I am 36 upper bust, 40 to 41, depending on fluctuations, full bust. Um, waist fluctuates wildly around, I think I'm at 33 at the moment, somewhere around there, but it can go up to 36 sometimes. Just depends on if I'm bloated or having a flare up of autoimmune. And then my hip right now is at a 40. So, and I make the size 10, grade to a 12, go back to a 10 um, with GH cup. So yeah, that is it. Okay. I think I just can't wax lyrical enough about the Cashmere Out Club. I'm very excited to see what else, you know, the other months are gonna be bringing. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely, I highly recommend it. Again, I have no affiliation whatsoever with the Cashmere Club other than I'm a huge fangirl. So, 
<laughs> there you have it. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. So Friday, I am very hopeful that I can get out my um, spring ready to wear looks with patterns and fabrics to go with them. Um, if it's not this Friday, it will probably be the next Friday, but um, I've got a whole bunch of really fun stuff coming up um, that's in the hopper, and I've been sewing like crazy on my spring capsule already. Um, this weekend, I got my Rose Claire dress, which is also cashmere, <laughs> um, in that melanated fabric I'm looking at over here. Everything but the hem, and the hem is dropping dramatically because the skirt is on the bias. Um, so I can't wait to share that with you all as soon as I get that finished. But um, yeah, working on all that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful week that you're getting good weather wherever you are, that you can get some sewing in this week. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.